teachers have to have a certain knowledge about metacognition. They have to know what it is, uh, how it works in, in children's problem solving. We know from research that especially these groups learning, uh, learning difficulties or intellectual disabilities, they lack these kind of competences. And uh, it has also been shown in intervention studies that you can learn these kind of issues. You can teach children to be more systematic in their learning, to be more systematic in controlling their learning. One of the things is that uh, traditional assessment uh, thinks that everyone has had the same learning opportunities and the same uh, chances for learning or has learned the same thing in school and we know that this is not true. Children have not learned the same thing so if they have not learned the same thing um, you cannot compare them. Um, if you train someone to do something and another one has not been trained and then you compare their capacity on this certain point in time uh, you know that they are different but it's not the capacity you're measuring you're just measuring what have you learned until now. So what we want to do is measure somebody's capacity for learning and for that you have to put them in a learning situation, you have to train them, teach them for instance procedures of how to solve tasks and then you can uh, evaluate if they can apply, have learned to apply these kind of processes, these kind of procedures in problem solving and this give you, gives you a much better in, uh, insight in uh, what they actually can do and it also shows that if you do it this way you can much better predict future learning. If you talk about dynamic assessment you can see it in the sense of uh, a test which evaluates capacity and you would do that in a standardized situation to be able to compare with norms or uh, between uh, children but the moment you start uh, wanting to intervene, if you want to intervene in learning with children, right, they have difficulties and you want to remediate, then you have to start looking at processes. And to look at learning processes, you also have to put children in a learning situation. You have to look, what are they doing? How are they solving problems? Uh, what kind of strategies are they applying? And um, then we're talking about metacognition, in fact. We're talking about how you regulate your own learning uh, what do you know about tasks, about difficulties, about your own difficulties in learning? Here you have the link between uh, learning in a standardized testing situation or learning to evaluate processes and to intervene. If you talk about well de developed cognitive competences, you would be talking about several things. You will be talking about knowledge about tasks. Uh, what is difficult in a task. Uh, a child would say, for instance, this child is very difficult because the text is very long. But a long text doesn't have to be difficult. It can be, be very easy to read, not much information in it, so it's also easy to reply to questions. But a short text can be very difficult because it has all kinds of information you have to take into account. There might be some traps in the information. Um, so children have to know about tasks. Uh, what is important in task, And then they have to know about their own um, strengths and difficulties in learning. And like I said, I need a, a, a small note when I go shopping, I have to write things down. If you're solving, for instance, math uh, exercises, you have to write down information, you have to use strategies. So you have to know what your strengths are, your difficulties, and then you have to make use of strategies, how to solve a task writing down information, uh, making sure you have well controlled what you are doing, etc. Children with high metacognitive competences do all that. They put into place strategies, they know what is difficult, they know about tasks. Whereas children, children with uh, difficulties, they do not do that, or much less. Or they use strategies that are not efficient. Um, they start solving a task using a strategy and the strategy doesn't help them but they keep going on using the same strategy over and over again um, but they're not progressing. We know from research that especially these groups learning, uh, learning difficulties or intellectual disabilities they lack these kind of competences and uh, it has also been shown in intervention studies that you can learn these kind of issues. You can teach children 
to be more systematic in their learning, to be more systematic in controlling their learning, about thinking about their learning, what is uh, uh, good to do, what can I better not do. Um, so it, it's something that can be trained. Teachers have to have a certain knowledge about metacognition. They have to know what it is, uh, how it works in, in children's problem solving, and then they can try to incorporate that in their learning, in their classroom learning. Um, and this should in fact start at a very young age. We, we have been doing that with children in kindergarten and, and you see that children in kindergarten um, learn from this kind of uh, teaching which is more questioning the children about their learning. Uh, what did you do last time? Do you remember? We did a math uh, exercise last time which is comparable. Do you remember what it was? Uh, what did you do when you solved it? Um, did it work? So you can question children about their learning, making them conscient about their learning, and then you have to teach them strategies. And these strategies cannot be something that are on their own, uh, because the problem is often transfer from one situation to another. And uh, if you know that university students already have lots of difficulties with transfer uh, from one situation to another because they do not recognize the underlying structure, you can be certain for children in classrooms, uh, young children, it's much more difficult. So you have to make transfer explicit, show them strategies, generalize them, discuss with them how they can be used in other kinds of situations. Um, but it, it needs a, a large investment from the teacher because uh, there is this theoretical basis that is needed and then you have to put it into practice in, in the sense of uh, not teaching frontly, telling children what to do, but making think, uh, children reflect thinking about their, their, their learning. Thank you.